the left, I'm in here as Mike, our end user, who's going to be submitting requests. And on the right, I'm in here as Eleven, our agent who's going to be resolving requests, right? And the first way that we're going to launch a ticket in Slack is through a DM. So I'm going to send a DM to Eleven and say, I need help, right? And I just received this DM from Mike, our employee, and I want to make sure this becomes a ticket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll over this message and add the ticket emoji as a reaction. And now what's going to happen is Mike, our end user, is going to get a DM from the help app with the ticket for this issue he just raised. And if he needs to tell us more, he'll jump into the thread and say, here's more. The second way is by going to a public channel. So maybe you have a dedicated channel for the ID help and Mike comes in and says, hey, the Wi-Fi isn't working. Right, and Mike is a little savvier than he was last time, so he's just gonna use that emoji reactor himself. What's different here, because the help bot is a member of the channel, is that the end user ticket isn't gonna be private to just Mike, it's gonna live in the IT help channel itself. Again, if Mike or anyone else in IT help has to tell us more on this ticket, they'll come into the thread and say, here's more info. Finally, and this is the best case scenario where I'm Mike and I'm the end user and I know what I have should be a ticket, I just wanna make it instead of sending a message, right? What Mike will do is he'll come directly down to the help app. He's gonna land on this app home screen, which is his end user portal. He'll go ahead and click create a ticket, choose a form, fill it out. We'll say need help. And this is a facilities request. I'm in Denver today. The priority on this is normal. I'll go ahead and I'll create it. Mike gets his private DM from help with the ticket, just like we saw before. Again, if he replies to the thread, that's gonna land on the corresponding ticket for our agent to see, and it's gonna go right to the facilities team for them to handle and respond to.